Y'all buy a minute, oh, what's a pray for us? Well, we just come to you this morning, and um, like a lot of years before, we just thank you for a good um, life on this earth. Now that we've turned to you, and I just thank you for allowing us to be out in your creation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just pray that you bless our day, keep us safe, and I just pray that we have a good hunt, good fellowship. Thank you so much for family that we know that we're going to spend eternity with. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace. Into the wind, so we want to build a wall to stop them. They're gonna light before they get to. Them. So basically, what we're trying to do here this morning is get the decoys arranged for the wind, so the dark dog will start barking. It ain't been barking. It ain't barked since last year. Put them in the weeds. Put them over that. That guy and put them over them weeds over somewhere else. That's old Pete. Well, I'm gonna tell you about old Pete. If Pete tries to pull a slick one. Oh. I'm gonna put him on the spit with everything else. They want a war? I'll give them a war. There's that rat again. <laughs> I didn't say dove man. It's See what happened man. is when he's dove hunting, he's okay. isolated knowing what he missed. With teal, they all fall. He's thinking, boy, am I fleecing these suckers? <laughs> he's always, he's, always he's, he's not counting four him. men on both sides of me. He's just, boy, I got them again. I just shoot and they all start falling. Every time I shoot, they fly and until I shoot, then they fall. So I figure I'll kill them. <laughs> They just stay flying until I pull the trigger, then they fly. I go here with me. Here, you kidding me? These? He said, all I know is I raise up at every bunch, just point out that way, shoot three times, and ducks <laughs> rain out of the sky. He said, well, I'm getting them all right. <laughs> Trace, you happy? Huh? You happy? Hmm? She's a happy dog. She's a happy dog. Well, getting, we're a getting, these blue -winged teal. getting her a few trees on her belt. She's trying to help her pick the ducks. <laughs> help her pick them, Trace. Help her pick them. <laughs> Were you a happy dog? As long as they've been keeping record for 200 years, this is more water in October than there's ever been. She's looking very, very good. You play the hands, don't you? This will flood. Oh man, tens and tens of thousands of acres. Look out! 
So look at this by next Monday. We're going to tap into some of that Gulf moisture. We're going to see more showery conditions. It's just one of them deals where every time it, it stops, it rains some more. It just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. Phil, has this been an ordeal? What's that? Today. This is the worst I've ever done in duck season. Yeah. We got ducks everywhere around here. We can't kill a duck. And ducks are everywhere, but it's misleading because you're talking about slick. One thing is the conditions. The water is up and down. It's way too deep. It's just, it's just one big hassle, even if it was just two men going to be a hassle. Hey, you we got we got way too much water. Oh. We've struck. That's what I'm talking about. Hand him to Lester. Let Lester mount that. He said, I did that with well, the way back in. him. What is it? I'd put him in a pot. I doubt killing mallards when it's raining in a timber hole. It's just because it very rarely happens. Mm -hmm. For us to kill six is amazing. And I ain't gonna say that we just called them in here, but that's what you <laughs> well, mean. Look at them big fat mallards right there, you know. The baseball player done got into some mallard ducks over here. So tomorrow, Jace, what's the plan tomorrow? Here's my plan. I say let's do the same thing we did today, except let's not move three times, and I don't need a hole in my way. Shooting would have killed more two till. I emptied my gun and knocked down five. <laughs> I don't know what you boys do. Woo! <laughs> you can't kill them if you don't shoot. I shot one time and one trip. That's exactly what happened. Watch 
Watch that, don't Jay. Hey, now you're working. <coughs> I'm talking, cut them all, Jack. Don't lay the head down. I had my hand on it. Oh, I... Well, I can't claim nothing that time. You know why, Jay? Why? I never fired a shot. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Mad to get the P roll for that one. Yep. Well, nothing but the end of her tail sticking up out of the water. <laughs> she had her head up under the water, her tail was sitting up, and that foot, every once in a while it moved, and I saw it ripple. Jace, I never doubted that you wouldn't get him. Yeah, I got it. He is so far ahead of the dog <laughs> that it, it ain't even worth it. <laughs> Take them out when you can, or they'll take you out. I tell you, we've been killing them all winter long, haven't Yeah, I know. They win. Get him. <laughs> well, that'd be one that won't get me on the leg. You been hollering about boy if I give me a bunch of blue wing teal in there. There they were, and you just shot out of them. They no. blew all off. <laughs> I didn't expect them to say to cut them. The man to your right killed one, about the third one back. And so I said, Well, I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> I don't think they come through that gap. They if they did, the gap. hey, if they did, you down there are asleep. Yeah. Okay, because hey, you should have shot three times if they come through that gap. I don't ring people here, but I wouldn't. <laughs> See this? I know. The gap See is this? straight in front of you. If I'd have been standing there and said cut them and they'd come in that gap, I'd have emptied my gun and killed three. I know. You ring okay. 
Messiah's logic is like, hey, I, I was a quarterback, and now you want me to catch the pass. Yeah. I can't, I can't throw it and catch it. Right. Uh, hey, you didn't throw it. I threw the pass. You didn't they throw it. Right over in front hey, of me. No, 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 no. You want me to throw it. You got a shotgun down there. You didn't throw it, doodly squat. Okay? If you threw it, you'd have shot. Okay? You got to go this way, yo. You got a shotgun in your hand, you call it, and you ain't finding a shot. Something's wrong. Yeah, well, you know what I want for Christmas? Yeah, you want a compass. No, I, want a, I don't want a compass. I, I wanted a compass, but now I want a crystal ball. So I can figure out. Now what you need is uh, you and the coach need to have a long talk about throwing. Okay? <laughs> you done all right, but you just didn't throw the ball. He's behind that tree right there, that M tree. That's where he fell. That's where he fell. That's he where was... he was behind when you shot him. He was shot right there. <laughs> you boys are out of y'all's mind. You telling the man he hey, shot Hey, y'all have lost your mind. <laughs> uh, you have done one right. thing. The next bunch that comes in here, I will have my gun to my shoulder. No, we heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. The Elm floated. It was cloudy. It was drizzle. It was about 44 degrees. The wind was, uh, I would say, calm to west. We ain't never killed mud or ducks on cloudy days down here except right here. I thought they were just right there, Jay. They look like it. Well, too cold, too cold. I called it. They started rising up there. But we'd have been kicking ourselves in the butt if we hadn't shot them on the first pass. Two, four, six, eight. I don't, I don't they believe. did come up on their own. They just started up. I don't up. believe they'll come back. When I don't believe it would either. That many ducks don't come back. I think the refuges are flooded. So all the ducks that normally go to the refuges, they're coming here. Yep. It's a combination of that and we got the coldest front of the, of the year. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I don't know why all these mallards want to come to a hole that's 20 foot deep. That's what I can figure out. Unless they just want to rest. To run with us, you had to be able not only to run fast, you had to be able to walk fast. Remember the time we'd go across them fields, everybody was walking real fast. Just see how fast we could walk. It was almost a run. Yeah. <laughs> just like old Coach Billy Wiggins that time I took him squirrel hunting. He said, is that land posted? I said, no, that's all right. We was going out across there about daylight and I saw a truck come down through that pecan orchard wide open. He said the last words I heard were run, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. And then he was by himself. We got out there in the brush. He said, I thought you said this thing wasn't posted. I said, well, I'm not quite sure, coach, whether it is or not. I said, but that way he was coming across that pecan I just thought it was time to leave. <laughs> I think them was hit. <laughs> then, did them, did them die, Jay? We done got mad dog mean down here now, buddy. <laughs> Won't be nothing left to him. You talking about my pattern? Turn it on. Turn it on. Hold it. Hold it. Here we go. All right, bingo. Yeah. <laughs>
I've got a a right. I've got a over to the right. I've got a over to the left. I've got a back. I've got a here. So I can send her in four directions. But I don't think the dog trainer, Jace, ever tr had in mind on the signal to send her up. Well, you don't want a duck waving in the breeze up there about 10 yards above the water side. <laughs> so the problem is he's hung in that tree and we got to get him down. So here's what we do. Everybody get their gun and we all going to, everybody aim at his head. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody aim at his head. We're all going to shoot that, try to blow his head off where the duck will fall. I'll aim at his bill. The bill huh? is what's hung. The bill? I, yeah. Lips too wide. On the count of three, y'all ready? One, two, three. Boy, this duck can get rough. Everybody's got the same gun case. That could be a problem. 21 yep. degrees around here is a yep. blue snorter. Oh, man. That's one of them snorters. Alberta snorters. W.E. said, what are you wearing? I said, everything I got. Shit. <laughs> Are we going to kill him? Oh, we're not going to kill him. <laughs> Every time I ever been, that's exactly what happened. Get up every morning, that's you get ready, and you go. How's this? Let's do it. I'm ready. Go. I need a rider. <laughs> Got two flappers not working. Let's get them out. It's just a duck suspended like he locked up. The scarecrow. Yep, that's, that's, a scary, white th up. that's a scary thing to another duck. Oh, I'm telling you. Do you want me to go? I'll go with you. Huh? That one. I tend to think that ducks flare off men and flappers that don't flap. That's what I oh. We got rid of the flappers that don't flap. They're gone. Right. They're, They're out gone. of the equation. What was this? You're driving down the road and you see an object. What happened? Hey, I saw a deer. He took up three quarters of the highway. <laughs> That was a cow, son. Well, that's what I thought, too. It was a steer. I, hey, I stopped and backed up to look at it. And I said, no. I said, first, I said, somebody's bills got out. No. And I said, no, it ain't a bill. I backed up, and I said, well, it's a cow. I said, there ain't no deer. No, I backed up, looked at it, and I said, no, it ain't a cow. It's a deer. Hey, huge thing. I bet you it weighed 300 pounds. Mm. Big old deer. Well, deer grow 300 Maybe pounds. Maybe it was a rhinoceros. Oh, he, he was a bull. No, I didn't see no horn. And well, you got, you got white-tailed deer the size of elk <laughs> walking around. Y'all know where sightings like that emanate from? Where? Men with thick glasses. <laughs> <laughs>
thick glasses. And Shut vivid, out, Bob. Thick glasses. Vivid imaginations. I, I yep. see 2020 with these thick glasses. You keep saying that, sir, but you're seeing knowledge. things that are only seen in zoos in Africa. <laughs> in deep, right. deep South, South America. America. Yeah. <laughs> I don't North think he's blowing in your face, Jason. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Uh, hey Phil. Yeah. It's uh eleven fifteen. I think it's time to pee on the fire and call the dogs and let's get out of here. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it all boils down to. Okay. <laughs> the grub will be there when we get there. You can't let daily sustenance get in the way of a possible duck wagon. I'm like Jim Carrey when he asked that girl, that fine little fox, he said, what do you think my chances are with you, one in a thousand? She said, more like one in a million. He said, so there is a chance. Yeah, yeah, there you go, right there. Some of them Arkansas boys, they think they can kill ducks if you don't brush a duck blind. Oh, I know. And you can't, I mean, they, they don't put no brush on their blind. what you call an Arkansas daylight flurry. Oh, we might have killed seven or eight of them. Cut them. I thought they're too far I'm to cut. Good. They can't see. They're way too far to cut. Then you said cut them, and I said they're almost there. And you said cut them. I said <laughs> okay. Well, these. I'm used to you said, you said, said cut them at cut sixty. Them. Then you said cut them again at forty. Mm -hmm. And the third time you said cut them, they were twenty. I said I think I will. Yeah. That's the way that went down. That's about the way I. Thought. I looked at you because I think, what are you talking about? They ain't here yet. <laughs> 
So you forgot your Louisiana days when you said kaboom, boom, boom. <laughs> you got cut out of your mouth and then we shoot and stuff. Right there. Cut him with him. Kill him. That's what I'm talking Woo! about, Will. Look at Willie, look at him, look at him down there. He ain't saying much. He's acting like he's done it before. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to tell me. He's dead. He just don't know. Yeah, he, yeah. That when you skull capped this mile of Drake, are you trying to tell me that that, was, that didn't do more for you than shooting a deer? Come on out with it. You mean you'd rather shoot a deer than that? I'm torn. I'm torn between two lovers and feeling like a fool. Yeah. Well, we've stopped in here in Arkansas on the way to Kansas, Red. Now it's time to head on to Kansas. With a, with a pretty good little bunch of mallard ducks on their belt. Do you have any advice for us, for Louisiana, then Arkansas, and on to Kansas? Any advice on your end? Well, here, here's my advice. It gets better as you go up. Louisiana, Garho, Arkansas, getting all right. Kansas, now you're getting into them. Y'all go whack them up there. Get out of my hair. Uh, are you, you, uh, you heading to Kansas with us? Nope. Too cold. I'm heading south. Too what? I'm heading south. By the way, you just got back in Kansas. What is the temperature in Kansas so we'll know? It was two degrees when I left. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's the northwest wind I right there. I feel it and I hear it. That's something now. She's standing there. Feel how much cold? It just it just yeah. dropped 10 She's degrees. Mm -hmm. what, what are you doing? It can be bad. I don't have very many clothes and my right leg's wet. <coughs> well, if the, if, look here. If the wind shifts after daylight, you will not do as well as if it shift, if it had shifted before daylight. No doubt about it. Hmm. Why? I'm not quite sure. Feet are already getting cold. I think my right boot though is leaking. I got an extra pair of bladers. Yeah, yeah I got that. Trip. I brought an extra pair of J just in case something like that happened. Well, I guess somewhere in all that mayhem oh. yesterday. Well, you know what they asked old Jay? Some some little kid and Jay came to him in the airport. What did he say, Jay? Then a kid came up and he said, "Hey, man, I watch your show." Uh, no, he said, I, "He said I, I watch you on TV all the time." That's what he said. I was like, oh, man, well, that's good. And then he said, uh, yeah, those those caveman commercials are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much does Gacko pay y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Now, which tastes better, the, the green wood duck tea. or the tea? Green wing tea, he's number one. Really? Over oh, a wood duck, like huh? wood duck. That's what he's about to close, but okay. I'll, 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 I'll go over the teal. <laughs> My rule is if something stinks while he's alive, he's probably not good to eat. I.e. spoonbill spoon cat. Spoonbill cat. Spoon okay. cat. Um, some blue wing tail. He's Shelby. sitting there flopping in the boat, and you can smell Any it. Any kind of rat, you know, nutrients, beaver. It smells like blue mm -hmm. mud, that old blue mud. Yeah.
pass that down, please. Racking. It's pretty. There's just nothing like a stack of greenheads, is there? There's nothing like I heard a voice say, so cut him. Cut him. I don't know who that Who's was. Who's that? Was that old Wallace? Yeah, yeah. He, Wallace? Yeah. Was that you speaking down there? He, yeah. <laughs> you know, the Beatles wrote a song about it. What was it? I am the world. Cuckoo, you. I was prepared for 45 degree weather. Me too. It's That's now 25. I guarantee you pull up your phone, it's done drop some more. Brad, I hate to break this to you. No sun. All day. If we wait, if we wait for the sun, it'll be tomorrow. I think we're good to kill them in both places. Oh, good. Down, 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 That's right. Yeah. We didn't kill many because there wasn't any drink. Smoke's getting thicker. <laughs> if this keeps it's up at this pace, going look, going. you're just going to go. And, and you're not going to move anymore. <laughs> My vote is to put a uh, little propane. Uh, Hot place like this in all the blinds up here. My vote is put more than one in them. <laughs> <laughs> this feels a lot like home here. Feel inside, gathered around the heater, and everybody else freezing. Yeah. There's a point when you just start blowing duck calls to stay warm. Yeah, that's true. We're, we're at that point. Well, as a wise man once said, we're there. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Do it. You got to have staying power with this game. Staying power, even though I'm starting to shake involuntarily. <laughs> we got one thing on all these cats that hunt. You got the heater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Barrett, we've had a pretty good little pretty good little swat here. That's a pretty good little stack of mallard we got there. 100% mallard, which about 20 of them, which is, it's had been an excellent hunt. We rode the hole, as they say, so what's your game plan for tomorrow? The wind's at our back at the river. Yeah. Got to go to the river. Got to go with the wind. I will bring my own heat, and I will fight any man who tries to get near it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll take it, we're leaving. I think so. I'll hold on and make do something wrong till you fellas get out of sight.
country said they mm-hmm. wouldn't light him. Well, they, they that one did. I know my family says that I tear things up, but if it had been up to them, a lot of the things that we do, we would never be doing. Like riding those four wheelers out to the blind, four wheelers go through water. So there has to be a pioneer in everything that you do, and pioneers are gonna tear stuff up. I mean, they, they got shootable, you know, one time there. Eh? The one bunch just come right, they were low. Yeah. Of course, I'm sitting over here saying, let them all get in there. <laughs> I wanted to pull a, just a pass on right. yeah. You know, the thing about duck hunting. You always leave thinking about what could have been. We got to go to Louisiana, because I got a lot of work to do, Barrett, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got one day tomorrow to get that thing all lined up. Now, that's going to take me a while. You know what that was? Spinal tap. Spinal tap. Boy. Boy, a hole. Day of the second split. Here he comes, here he comes. Shoot them. You gotta improvise. So. There we go. We'll cook them about 15 minutes and they will be good. Shot. I tried. I tried to get up pretty well. Good job, boys. Good job. That's that duck killing there. I can't believe you sat there that long. I know. Patience. It takes patience to let a green head sit there. I think that looks pretty ready. What I've always said is true. But what can make biscuits no matter where he is? Yeah. All right, here you go, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May haul jelly right out of these same woods we kill any duck. That came out of the same woods we kill the ducks. The may haul. Pick the may haul, make the jelly, make the biscuit, bring the may haul back down here. After we done picked them out of the swamp, you eat the jelly and kill the duck. See how it works? Ducks, may haul jelly, just round and round. Ten 
installed. First two, that's what that that was the sign. Darty brought that in here. I thought, hmm. Well then that one cut in there, I thought, he go fly right in front of the blind about fifteen yards. Pretty well right there, one. These old mounters to get right down in here, won't they? Yeah. You see that bulger? Watch this. Do we want to take bets what it is before you do that? Right. Take bets what it is. What do you think it is? Oh, I don't know what right. it is. You right. think right. it's what? Right. He thinks it's right. What do you say, Wallace? Uh, oh. What? Corn. Corn. Acorn. 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 But that's, I didn't know a mounter duck could get an acre that big in her crawl. Huh. Jace? Why would that duck be eating acorns that big? No ice, no snow, all this rice. What about that Owens? I know it. I can't believe it. I think she is eating a jawbreaker and swallowed it. Oh, it's about 10 jacks. Right here. Kill him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time to have all your kids raised. Any woman wants to, wants to see you hit the road. Y'all going hunting this morning? Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, good. I'm going to wrap Christmas presents while y'all gone. She's got all her kids coming, but they all got kids. Grandkids, great-grandkids running around here now. You got about a hundred extra for the field. Not a lot of them. Got some serious right here. We'd right in the middle of it. That lightning would, that lightning would just flash. You know, we'd all stick a head down, get out of there, Whoa! Oh, the sky this hole. Yeah. Let me tell you what got this in here. About four. Blood, five, sweat, five. and tears. <laughs> it is the nastiest day I've ever hunted. Yeah. This is nasty. I mean, it's lightning. Yeah. Whenever in the back of your mind when you're raising your gun and you're thinking, I could get struck by lightning, it makes you want to shoot real fast and put your gun back down. <laughs> Duck man killed while shooting green winged teal. Lightning strike. Boy, it ain't done like shooting mallard ducks on Christmas Day. That is Santa Claus coming to town right there. Uh oh, I'm on the board. Oh, oh no. no. Now that's going to be a problem. There you go. There you go. He lined out. Shoot that sucker. I don't think he's he lined out. He's just going to swim in circles. Oh, he was lined out. He said, come back to life. You're talking about hard to kill. Every one of these jokers seen Steven Seagal's movie. Always remember this, when they get up and they're coming toward you, don't keep shooting. If you're away, they'll just keep flying. Y'all yeah. yeah. just kept shooting.
I'll just take both, well, both the of them right there, it, boys. Them both in one shot. Conserve them, Shell. <laughs> All he saw was one of them black cloud number threes. Upside his head. Yeah. You think we ought to hit just back a quack, quack, quack? They ain't gonna call no ducks. I've been watching, they ain't nothing happening. <laughs> <laughs> then you see one do that, and you say, well, I tell you what, they may be able to call one. That damage could go fly on by. But the ducks are coming in by one. I know, I know, but you've been saying the ducks are gonna come in every 30 minutes for the last four hours. Now I'm gonna be building duck calls till dark if I leave now. See, here's a news flash. Yeah. I've been saying ducks are gonna come in in the next 30 minutes for 50 years. <laughs> so why do I keep believing it? They're always just fixing to come in. I know. 30 minutes out. Surely they're 30 minutes out. Y'all so much shooting, I'm pulling the trigger. Y'all running your mouth, I'm shooting. Hey, not too cold. Hey, if you're going to talk, talk. If you want to shoot, shoot. I'm talking. Hey, hit my gun three times. Y'all so much shoot. You shot three times? I shot three times. I just loaded it up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, we used to be tough. Now we're done. Biscuit eaters and bird watchers with double B's. Biscuit eaters and bird watchers. Are you agreeing that that's now you a one for ten on Woody? Who? You. One no. for ten. Boom. One for hey. ten. Boom. Hey, Boom. everything we killed the other day, guess who killed it? No, Yours yesterday. truly. Now it's two days later, but all that is sore. <laughs> and my duck call comes out like size has been about the last five years. <laughs> and so I was right, he, he can't reach him. I mean, my muscle structure will finally heal back up where I could do this. But size has been there ever since they split his chest open, you know, massage his heart or did whatever they did to it. They busted his chest loose, and his duck call went from <laughs> before, that's pre-surgery. After surgery, it was just I lost about 50% strength, I'm telling you. You ain't telling me nothing I didn't already know. You sound like a hurting mallet. You're hurting, so your duck call sound like it's hurting. <laughs>
mid-January and it's about 80, I'd say 80 degrees, 75, 80. Got us a southwest wind. It's Sunday evening, we met with the brothers. Now we're trying to kill a duck or scout an area where we can kill a duck tomorrow. We're down to scrapping like you ain't ever seen before in your life. But in all these years, in the term waterfowl, we've been focused on the word fowl. Yeah. And it's, this year, it's all about the term water. Water, that's it. Boy, the, the water part of waterfowl has taken on new meaning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're in 25 feet of water, trying to kill a duck. Weather the storm, flood, it almost fits, because it's been a storm of a duck season, that's for sure. Yeah. We have run, fallen down, threw up. Well, the funniest part, man, I think I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he weathered the storm. <laughs> I don't believe I ever called up a Mallard Drake 10 yards over the water. You call that sucker right on in here. And most people say, well, why didn't you jump him up? Look, if he jumped up, you'd never seen him. No. I just cut a swath right down through that brush. I mean, he came right to the duck call. That's a pretty fancy duck call in there, Jay. You need one of them little chihuahuas. <laughs> and put on have a little thing about like that where the dog sit. And then when you throw in a throw him in a sack when you went out there, just put him in a sack and turn him loose and set him out there and let him go. You could just set him out of the boat here. He'd go over and get the duck. Come back and then put him back in the sack. That way he wouldn't be shaking water on everybody and all that stuff. You know? Or just <laughs> <laughs> Or just shoot a duck. <laughs> shoot a duck, just throw it. <laughs> just throw the dummy, throw the dog. <laughs> Them Labradors, when they take a dump in the boat, I mean, it's a pile to be reckoned with. See, see a lot of people, look, a lot of people think this is a, a bathing camp. That's a poop scooper. Yeah. About a week left in the duck scene, and everybody gets funny. Everybody funny. You funny too. That's two we done called it. That's just like killing a buck deer piece, eight to 10 points. See a deer hunter would say, oh, God, he come up there, she come through a thicket. I just barely could see him. Well, we ground swat these mallard drakes, but it's done got about halfway sporty. They don't know is all they had to do is fly and we can't shoot them because it's so thick. That's it. You swim up here, you die.
I answered, he said, I need to speak to Tommy Barnhill. I said, this is Tommy. He said, this is Willie Robinson. I thought to myself, there ain't no way. Someone's pulling a joke on me now. I said, yeah, right. He said, no, seriously, it's Willie. He said, I'm from Duck Commander. Just want you to know you are our duckaholic hunter for the year. Man, I, I, lost, I lost my whole train of thought, boys. I didn't know what to say. Tell Jace what you saw this morning. Cross the road in front of the truck. Jace, we saw a black cat with a long tail. Oh, no. Don't tell Si. Now, listen. We have black cats. Yeah. You do? Yes, we do. When he went across the road, I said, I said, I said, I said, now, Tommy, you're from South Carolina. Did you just see what I just saw? Y'all were in the back of the truck going from where y'all got in to down there where we got in the boat. I said, I can't wait am I dreaming fly. or was that a black cat with a tail? And Tommy said, it was a black cat with a tail. Jay, just be easy. Shooting there, boys. Barney, what were you waiting on then, boy? That tree to move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last eat another duck season. Jace, you sheared his head smooth off. Sure shot. <laughs> I was the next duck out there. I'm gonna shoot him again. Last eight minutes of duck season. I've been practicing on that shot, Jay. It worked that time, didn't it? That's the prettiest one of the day. Let me straighten these old broke wings out here. Look at that, what a beaut. He'd have made it three more minutes. He'd have went all the way back to Canada. Three minutes, four legal shooting hours on the last day of duck season. He shouldn't have come over about 60. Old oh, Jay's brought him down. He ain't never gone, this hole is good for about, when it's good, it's good for about 20 a day, that's it. It ain't a hot hole, never had been a hot hole. I never claimed it was a hot hole. I've hunted hot holes, this ain't one of them. But it's a good hole. Good. Oh, that's it. Is that it? Go get the boat. Hunting season for 2009 has just come and gone. The sun glistens down on the morning dew. It's ass busting cold, black clouds for view. Drizzling rain running down my back as I pull the last decoy from the sack. Small singing from the tree. 